Solving systems by graphing using equations in standard form. Well, first we'd like to bring up two things. One is if you haven't seen the GDOG video on solving systems by graphing using equations in the y-intercept form, see it first. There are a lot of nuances that are covered there that were that kind of set the stage for this video. And so it really will pay to do that one. Secondly, with a graphic calculator in hand, solving systems is easier than by any other method. It doesn't matter how easy it looks set up for elimination. It's easier this way when you have a graphing calculator in hand. Now, first we have a system of equations like you might see on a test or you might see in a workbook. And what we're going to do is spend a little time showing how to solve this for y in order to graph to uh, just get a flavor, remind us of how it works. First of all, we have two equations. Each one of them is in standard form. We have an x term and y term on the left. And the first thing we're going to need to do is get rid of that x term on the left and get y by itself in order to graph. And so for the first thing, we're going to subtract 5x from both sides for that first equation on the left, and then 3x from each side from the equation on the right. And what that does, it cancels out the x terms on the left and we bring down what we have left. We have simply the y term on the left of both equations. Now what we do is we have to divide each equation by their respective coefficients of y. And here we do that in the left equation that coefficient is 9, the right equation the coefficient of y is negative 2. And what that does, it cancels out and leaves y by itself. And so we bring down what is left. And here you see the equations uh, written on one line in a form such that you might be able to enter those in your graphing calculator and solve them quite easily. Well, look at all the steps here. Look at all the opportunities for mistakes. Now, one thing I've noticed with all the work that goes into it, a lot of my students are, are like, uh, they remind me of football teams. If the football team drives down the field from the 20 or own 20 yard line to the opponent's one yard line, what they do, it would, would you feel good about a football team that just got down the one yard line and just was too lazy or whatever to just walk into the end zone? Well, a lot of students I've seen, they get so caught up in solving for why that we, they do that, they forget to cross the goal line. They forget to go ahead and find the solution. And so we need to keep this in mind. And solving equations this way, solving systems this way, using a graphing calculator, helps us keep that in mind. Now the first thing you need to do is go to your calculator and press the Y equals key. We're going to solve that system in purple there. And we're going to, first of all, uh, put down the pencil. Okay, pencil's not allowed right here unless writing down the answers. Now, this is one thing that when you go on a test and do this, your teacher might look at you a little askew and say, wait a minute, you, you must be copying because you're not writing down showing your work. Well, the, make sure it's okay with your teacher. You might have to show work just to explain, what, to write what you did. But what you're doing by not using a pencil, you're actually increasing your, lessening your chances of making mistakes. And so the first thing we do for the equation on the right is we just enter negative 12 on the right because it's already there. And then we're going to go ahead and subtract x from both sides. And we're going to, for the second equation, we're going to put a parentheses. And then we're going to enter 6. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take care of this 2x on the left. Now is that positive 2x or negative 2x? Well since it's positive 2x, we're going to need to subtract it. So here we subtracted it. And what we do next is wrap that expression 6 minus 2x in parentheses, closing parentheses. And now we have a coefficient of y which is negative 3. And what are we going to do to get rid of negative 3? We're going to divide by it. So we divide by negative 3 and now we have two functions that are solved for y and so we graph them and we see that indeed we have an intersection point in the third quadrant someplace and we're going to find what the intersection is by pressing second then trace then five and then enter 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 so let's enter three times and we have solution of x equals negative six y equals negative six now we have an answer. So are we done? 
No, I say unto you, nay, we are not done. We need to check our work. And so let's go ahead and do that. What I've done now is we've written the answer up negative 6 comma negative 6, and we are going to enter negative 6, and then we press the storage key, the STO key. It's right above the on key. Very important key to remember. And then we're going to press the X key, and after we do that, we press enter, and we have negative 6 stored for X. We're going to now press negative 6, and we're going to press the storage key again. But this time we're going to press alpha, then Y, and that's uh, the Y is, that green Y is up in the right of that 1, so you press 1, and then you press enter, and you have negative 6 stored for Y also. And now what we do is we enter the left side of that first equation in our calculator, and then we press enter, and we find that it is 6. And so we have substituted back, and we have checked this equation. So for that equation, it works. Now we need to go ahead and do that for the second equation. So we enter x plus y, and then press enter, and we find that it is indeed negative 12, and we have checked it. We know for sure that it is right. So again, I can't emphasize enough the importance of checking. Now we're going to go take a look at another system of equations. And the first one we're going to enter by pressing y equals, and we're going to put a parentheses, then the number 8. Now we're going to get rid of this negative 2x, and how do we get rid of it? Well, we have to add it to counterbalance it, and then we wrap that in parentheses, and we have a coefficient of y that is 3, so we have to divide all that by 3. And we come down to the next line, and we put in uh, parentheses, and then negative 5, and what are we going to do to this 3x? We're going to go ahead and subtract it, and then we divide by, what is this negative sign here? Well, what it means is we have negative 1y, so we have to divide that whole expression by negative 1. And after we've done that, we graph it, we see we have a solution, we press second trace 5, enter, 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 we get x equals negative 1, y equals 2. Now, we have the solution. Are we done? Well, you should know by now that we are not done because we need to check our work. So, we write our answers down someplace where we can put them in. And we put negative 1 storage x and 2 storage y. And we type in our first expression, which is negative 2x plus 3y, and we get 8 check. We next type in 3x minus y, press enter, we get negative 5. And so that checks as well. Again, this is the thing that in so many cases makes the difference between the poor student and the good student, the good student and the excellent student, and it's a difference of just checking your work. And so using this method, it's a great way to check your work. Now we have another system of equations, and what I'd like for you to do is stop the video, and then solve it, and check it, and we'll see how you did. Okay, I hope you found a solution. This is what I came up with. I have uh, neg uh, 19 minus 8x wrapped in parentheses and divided by negative 9, which is the coefficient of y for the first equation. For the second one, uh, your coefficient of y is 1, so all you had to do is take negative 7 minus 4x, because it's positive 4x on the left side, and here you have your system of equations. You graph it and press second trace 5, enter, 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 and this is your solution. You check your work and you, you enter negative 1 for x and negative 3 for y, and check them and you find that you get them both right. Now, a summary, you need to go to y equals and solve for y on two lines. The second thing you need to do is graph and find the solution by pressing second trace 5, enter, enter, enter. And the third thing is you need to check your solution by plugging found values for x and y into your original equations. I promise you that when I made this video, I made a mistake on one of the coefficients of x. I added it when I should have subtracted it. 
and so it's very easy for you to do that but I check my work and so your the video here has correct solutions on it you need to do the same thing with all your work and you'll improve immensely you can improve immensely as a student thanks for watching